Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at a necessary condition on the structure of observational matrix H for the existence of a minimum variance unbiased estimator for the unknown parameter vector theta bar in a linear model. That is, given the linear model x bar is equal to H times theta bar plus W bar, where x bar is the observational vector or x bar is the vector of observations, H is the observational matrix and theta bar is the parameter vector that is unknown parameters, the vector consisting of unknown parameters, W bar is the noise vector. So, the necessary condition for the estimator on the parameter vector theta bar to exist is that the inverse of the matrix H transpose H should exist that is theta hat is equal to H transpose H inverse H transpose X bar where this is the minimum variance unbiased estimator, that is MVU estimator. So, for this estimator to exist, we can clearly see that this inverse matrix should be valid, that is the matrix H transpose H should have an inverse. So, if this is satisfied, then we can say that the minimum variance unbiased estimator exists for the unknown parameter vector theta bar and by definition of the inverse matrix H transpose X, H transpose H inverse is defined as 1 by the determinant of this matrix H transpose H multiplied by the adjoint matrix of this product matrix H transpose H. So, for this inverse to exist, uh, the necessary condition will be that the determinant of this matrix should be non-zero. That is the main condition is H transpose H should be, should have a determinant that is not equal to zero. Uh, and of course, since we are looking at the inverse of the matrix, the matrix should be a symmetric matrix. That means, H transpose H should be symmetric. Symmetric. And since we are actually multiplying the transpose of a matrix with itself, the product is always symmetric. So, the, this condition is always satisfied for this product matrix. So, the only thing we have to check is whether the determinant of H transpose H is equal to 0 or not equal to 0. So, that is we want to look at conditions under which the determinant is 0 and the conditions under which the determinant is non-zero. So, let a matrix A is equal to the product H transpose H. So, let us uh, basically enumerate the members or the elements of this matrix A as follows. A11 is the element in first row and first column, A12 is the element in first row and second column and so on up to the element A1K which is the element in first row and kth column and A1K plus 1 is the element in the same row but the next column K plus 1 and so on up to nth, nth column. And similarly, the elements in next rows A21, A22 and so on to A2K, A2K plus 1, A2N. And finally, in the last row, we have AN1, AN2 up to ANN. That means, the matrix H transpose H has N rows and N columns. That is, it is a symmetric matrix. Now, now let us look at the determinant of the matrix A when one of the columns is a one of the columns is dependent on the other column that is for example when the column A i k plus 1 is equal to B times A i k that is the column k plus 1 is actually a multiple of the column k that is A i case. So, in this case the determinant of A becomes that is we have determinant of A11 up to AN1, A12 up to AN2 and at the kth column we have A1K up to ANK and the next column becomes B times A1K up to B times ANK and the last A1N to ANN. And since the determinant of a matrix does not change when we apply elementary operations, so we apply the following elementary operation. We basically replace the kth column AIK, we replace the kth column with 
the difference b times a i k minus a i k plus 1 which is already equal to b times a i k therefore the values in the kth column will be basically equal to 0 therefore we have the first column is the same a 1 1 2 a n 1 and the second column is a 1 2 up to a n 2 and so on up to the kth column where we have zeros a 1 and k plus 1 that is the first row and k plus 1 column and nth row and k plus 1 column and so on up to a 1 n to a n n and clearly since one of the columns is equal to 0 that is all the elements in the column are zeros the determinant is obviously equal to 0 thus for in the matrix a when one of the columns in this case is just a linear multiple of the other column then the matrix a has a determinant equal to 0 or by using the proof by contradiction we can clearly say that the determinant of the matrix a which is equal to determinant of the matrix h transpose h is not equal to 0 when all the columns are independent therefore this is the necessary condition for the matrix h transpose h to have a inverse and thus the condition required for existence of a minimum variance unbiased estimator for the unknown parameter vector theta bar thanks for watching